In recent years, Nigeria has recorded several cases of collapsed buildings, and it has been reported that this decay is caused by employment of unqualified engineers and the use of substandard materials for building and engineering projects. President Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria, Ali Rabiu, has reiterated that the 2018 amended act gives powers to the council to investigate not only licensed engineers but also non-engineers who engage in engineering business causing failures of engineering infrastructures. He said this while addressing members of property and infrastructure correspondents in Abuja on the successes of the regulatory body in the year 2020 and investigations aimed at tackling quacks in the engineering profession. I want to assure you that uh, many of the investigations we have carried out recently know of building collapses we have not found any engineer who has, who has been trained to do this work involved. So mostly it's quacks. And this was why we moved to amend our act to in, give us powers to be able to prosecute these quacks. And now we have that amendment accepted by the government so we can prosecute uh, quacks and but first of all, we have to carry out investigation to determine the extent of uh, involvement of such people in any collapse. According to him, during the year 2020, Council carried out some aspects of its core mandate, one of which is the registration of engineering personnel and firms and accreditation of engineering programs in Nigerian universities and polytechnics. Ensure that people are properly trained in the oil and gas. We have engaged, in fact, we have formed, gotten MOUs from uh, the ministries, like they just concluded Federal Ministry of uh, Council on Works, by the uh, Federal Ministry of Works, and where they agreed, in principle, to start engaging all engineering students and even graduates of engineers as apprentice in all federal government projects. That one is a clear indication of our execution of the executive order five of the president. The president cites some of its significant projects for the year 2020, one of which is the building of its permanent site at Jabi area of the FCT. We also have the window to, to approach uh, donor agencies to fund our activities, multilateral agencies and so on. They are all in the act. So these are some of the areas we are going to be exploring going forward to be able to run and fund our activities. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Works and Housing at the just concluded National Council of Works in Portacot, River State, approved the placement of engineering students in all federal contracts. Following Shoa Deguke, Core TV News, Abuja.